Is ideology a bad thing? Having a network of beliefs uh, that inform how you go about uh, understanding, viewing, and acting in the world. That's the common narrative in our Western secular world, that people with ideologies are dangerous, that they need to keep their ideas to themselves and uh, purely act on secular principles in the public square. Well, we've seen that already in this episode with the Huguenins and their photography business. Is it a, a public good or a public bad that the Huguenins would operate their business according to their own beliefs? Uh, that common narrative that uh, the, 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 the public world has to be governed by purely secular reasons uh, is itself an ideological myth. Uh, the truth is, everybody has an ideology. We've been calling it on this show uh, all last season, we've been ca calling it a worldview. Everybody has certain beliefs and assumptions they make about the world and how it works, what, uh, what its origins are, what its essence is, what its destiny is, what's its function, what's its design. Is there a function? Is there a design? Everybody has beliefs about these things. People have certain narrative uh, myths they use, uh, uh, stories they tell themselves to justify how they view uh, the world. Ideology is not optional. It's not as though somebody can just dispense with ideology and uh, come up with just purely um, rational, self-evident, self-justifying um, ideas about how, how the world works. Um, this comes in uh, handy for us, having our first episode be so much about religious liberty and acting in, uh, according to your beliefs and the dictates of your own conscience. Because what I want to do in this commentary section uh, this season on Dead Reckoning is to talk more about the Christian ideology. And obviously I don't mean ideology as a bad term. Uh, what do Christians believe? What do they believe about God, uh, the world, our purpose, our destiny? Um, our, our condition. I mean, are we, are we sinners? Are we saints? What do Christians believe about this? I'm going to, in the coming weeks, on the Dead Reckoning commentary, walk through um, one of the most basic and ancient statements of Christian belief about what Christians believe, and that is something called the Apostles' Creed. Uh, the Apostles' Creed was not actually written by the Apostles. Uh, it is a statement of faith that arose very early uh, in Christian history, um, and uh, it, it developed out of a baptismal formula, and it tells what Christians believe about the world. Um, ideology, insofar as it's Christian ideology, far from being uh, something dangerous, something that we need to be suspicious of, uh, Christian ideology, the faith uh, articulated in the Apostles' Creed is the ideology that did away with slavery, that founded orphanages, that built hospitals, that launched the scientific revolution, that gave our Western world uh, its sense of human rights and human dignity and freedom. Uh, those things come from the ideology of Christianity, and in the coming weeks, I'm going to walk through the Apostles' Creed and comment on that.